While the nation debates the presidential race, locally voters pass a number of tax measures. Our political specialist, Sean Boyd, sat down with Governor Polis to talk about how they'll impact just about everyone. From a new tax on nicotine to a lower tax on income, the 2020 election means lots of changes for taxpayers. Yeah, I thought that was a great outcome. As you know, I, I think you should tax things you that are bad, not good. Income's great. Which is why Governor Polis told me he backed Proposition 116 that lowers the state income tax rate. Rather get away, do away with the income tax myself. I don't think it's a good tax. While cutting income taxes, voters approved a new payroll tax to cover a paid family leave program. Employees making around Fifty thousand a year will pay about forty dollars less income tax, two hundred thirty-four dollars more payroll tax. Employers also pay two thirty-four per employee, but they were spared a property tax increase with passage of Amendment B, while homeowners will pay more. Nicotine users will also pay more with passage of Proposition EE, which will help fund one of the governor's top priorities: preschool for every kid. But it won't happen for two years, and because the measure is statutory, is not guaranteed. The legislature could go in, raid the money that's meant, the nicotine tax that's meant for preschool and use it for something else. So how do you keep them from doing that? Well, the good news is we had legislative buy-in on EE. It actually wound up being referred to the ballot by the legislators. So they, they, they wrote it. There are sponsors. They care deeply about preschool. In addition to taxes, Coloradans weighed in on fees, or what some call backdoor taxes, everything from car registration to park admission. Lawmakers will now need voter themselves. approval for any significant new fees. It just means longer ballots for people. Um, we'll, we'll, you know, people can people want to vote on more things. It's fine with me. While voters rendered split verdicts on fiscal measures, most voted straight ticket Democrat for candidates. But Polis says it doesn't mean Colorado is blue. Most voters are unaffiliated. And they're willing to give both sides a fair shake and uh, and pick the best man or woman to represent them in office. Sean Boyd covering Colorado first.